When seven years ago a mother went into labor, her people expected nothing but a new addition to their family, bringing with them a bundle of joy. However, that day marked something else far from their expectation. This family's cry seems to constantly fall on deaf ears, and their quest for justice has left them with sore wounds, as our medical correspondent, Dr. Masi Kori, reports in this special feature, Wounded Justice. <laughs> It is 2010, an expectant mother waits to deliver her child, but something happens in the delivery room that changes the course of her family's life. He came to theater drunk, and just knowing he was drunk, instead of directing either patients be taken by ambulance to Machakos Hospital or another the nearer hospital, he decided to operate. When the situation got desperate, what happened with this matter? The 24th day of June 2010 was a difficult one for Emmanuel Titus and his family. He recounts the life of Mary Danu, the mother of his children. It began like any other ordinary day for Mary, a wife and an expectant mother then. She had traveled to Mwingi from Mombasa to check on her mother-in-law who was sick at the time. Things, however, changed quickly. When she went into labor, her sixth child was finally here. Guni is a health center while Mwingi was then a level four hospital with better facilities and at least a doctor present. Titus was in Mombasa on that day where he lived with his wife and children and waited anxiously for the news of the birth of their sixth child. But... One of the local dailies followed the story keenly from the incident to the funeral. What exactly happened that cost Mary's life and that of her baby? Tuliona ile postmortem report baada ya kuulizia wale wa karibu na wale madaktari wenzake vile walikuwa kwa complain kwamba mwenzao amefanya makosa. Kulingana wao walikuwa wanasema alikuwa anakunwa. Na dereva karuma mara mbili akaenda mara ya kwanza akamwambia show me the letter yenye inasema ninaitwa. Her doctor was in the bar, precious time being lost. Meanwhile, the steady but certain hands of death clawed in and got Mary Danu and her unborn baby. Mama aliniacha na watoto watoto watano. But the first one akafariki baada ya miaka minne. Benjamin Titus, the eldest of the couple's children at 14 years, was laid to rest next to his mother. Born a special needs child, he was most affected by his mother's demise. In the end, he was unable to survive without her. Kama mama ngekuwa hai, ngekuwa na Benjamin wangu, na kazi zangu zikekuwa zikiendelea vizuri. 
he made the tough decision to relocate his children back to Mwingi to be raised by his aging mother as his brother, John Munyasia, followed up their case, then lodged at the medical board. Kesi kufanyika, ika, ika zimekana dakitari, uh, akona makosa, na akanyanganyo that license yaki. Medical superintendent, akambiwa kwa mana likuwa nafisha ukweli. Akambiwa panye nini? Kuna final litishwa pale. Vya hiko tabiko, the prosecutor of government. Aka, aka ambiwa, amu, amufunge, I investigate that case. We got in touch with the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution to comment on this case, but by the time of airing this, they were yet to give us feedback. He referred us to the ministry. And me, I went there, and I went there almost five times. I'm supposed to talk journalist. Uh, sorry? The only person who talks journalist, eh? Yes. In a profession, is the government secretary means me to first. Okay. That's the council officer. Hi, hi. Thank you. So you don't, do you have anything to say about... The Ministry of Health is also yet to give its feedback. I went to the Ministry of Justice Commission. I was able to get 14 days to the Ministry of Health and Cabinet Secretary. Ajip, we have not got any response. It is just the lactant of the cabinet minister, Wayeoth. Ni uya pazu kuwa kazini. Desperate times called for desperate measures. Nikaenda kwa William Ruto, the vice president. Nikaenda nikabeana barua, ni ata niliandika, wewe ni mtu wa kusema na kutenda. What happened with this matter? His plea is simple. Kama watu wa reli wanafuzwa wanalipwa kama nyumba inafujwa inalipwa wewe mtu kwa nini atilipwe the answer to that question troubling the family of Mary Ndano is clear according to Peter Munge an advocate and an ex official member of the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentists Board who prosecuted this matter there are two angles the first angle is liability the second angle is quantum on liability once there is a professional body's finding of negligence or misconduct, the case aspect of liability is as good as done in court. Quantum means the co amount of compensation. And on that regard, it is the court at that point to determine. In a case like this one where the doctor was working in a public facility, mm. if the court uh, rules on compensation, mm. who pays? For public, it's defended by the Attorney General. Mm -hmm. It's the Attorney General. Mm -hmm. So the person who pays is you and me, because it's a taxpayer's money. And that's one of the reasons that as a board we've tried as much as possible to ensure standards are upheld. For Kenya's first ever deregistered doctor, Munga recalls the board's decision to do so. He came to theater drunk, and knowing he was drunk, instead of directing either patients be taken by ambulance to Machakos Hospital or another the nearer hospital, he decided to operate. In between the procedure, he degloved and went back to the bar. That action by Dr. William Odor, a young doctor then, is Emmanuel Spain. Death did not only rob him of his wife and his partner. He narrates a scenario when his third son almost died. These instances have affected his children psychologically. Their education too has suffered from the loss of a mother. Another 
His only solace is to help his children. Imebidi niruchini ni kuwa kama ndugu yao. Not a father ama ama ni kuwa kitu ingine. Nimekuwa mimi ndio mama, mimi ndio baba, wakati mingine na wakarisha chini. Nipate kujua ya ndani ambayo mingine na tanadeka kama siko. He just has one wish. If there is a way, haki inawaza kutendeka. Hata mali enye nimetumia ni kifatila ikezi, ipatekane. Angalawa na waza kustambilize watoto. Kiasi. Mirinda Nu was his priceless possession, even at death. Seven years later, her resting place is almost holy ground. Alikuwa ni mwenzangu wa maisha. Na nikaona, sabu ameniacha. Mimi ameniachia mbo manzuri, na lala vizuri usingizi mwema, na mimi wacha ni mjengea pale bazuri. Jo hata kukenyesha, asinishewe. Gila nikiamuka, hata kukenyesha, ninaangale yu kaburi, nikiyona hivi naona, mama melala vizuri. Hakuna shida. For this family, nothing seems to pacify their pain, not even the years gone by. More time only seems to plunge them into further pain as they await the moral lack of justice to bend their way. Dr. Masikuri, KTN News.